Hello everybody, it's old Shaziz. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. You're looking at the voltage coming from my earth circuit right there. Just wanted to share something pretty unique. Anyway, let me get around here. I'm going to uh, drain off some power off of this. Alright, well you notice the voltage going down some right there. Alright. Now I'm going to kick on my, my uh, plasma reactor. Put some argon to it. So as you can see, the voltage is beginning to rise up when the reactor gets stronger. So it's, uh, it's apparently uh, energizing my earth circuit outside. Alright, let me get over here and you can see this here real quick. And uh, it's actually pretty, pretty doggone impressive as far as the energy that it's creating so far. Now keep in mind I haven't uh, I haven't um, solved that leak problem that I've got up there in the uh, sphere. I've got to get that solved so I can get this down to a vacuum. But you can see this high voltage tester right here. It's got some pretty good power to it. Let me go down to the negative down here. I don't know if I got that on there or not. Yeah, I think I did. I'm trying not to shock the crud out of myself. No, I didn't get it on there. I'm trying not to shock the crud out of myself. I can feel this puppy getting hot. Let me uh, add just a hair more argon. Do it for the moment. Let's try that again. Off the battery itself. Okay, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, let's watch this for a second. If you notice that uh, the tube right there, you can't see it very well because it's uh, got hot and it's black inside there. But that's a spark gap. And uh, Essentially, it's made out of a uh, fluorescent bulb starter. And the reason why it's blinking off and on like that is because when it gets hot inside, it uh, works like a thermal switch. So you can see that it's just uh, randomly pulsing power. 
Now I'm going to add just a bit more argon. Notice when it settles down, you can see uh, the two plasma globes, one up in the top left and one up in the top right. Like, drags the energy right out of them. I don't know if you noticed that yet, but right there before I got ready to shut it off, that uh, little uh, spark gap right there got so hot that it literally, literally melted the glue that it was setting on and fell off. Whew. Hello everybody, I'm back. I believe this thing is functioning better than I had initially anticipated, even though it still has a leak right up here in this globe on the side where it was brazed. The man I paid to uh, braze the uh, globe together uh, did a poor job. So I got to find somebody who is better at brazing and have them seal it up. But in the meantime, I can still run a few tests. Now eventually, I'm going to want to change this out so that I can get full power. Right now you can hear it cutting in and out. You'll notice that uh, it coincides with that blink right there. It's because when this gets hot, it shuts the power off. Alright, that thing literally froze my computer, man. Wow. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I uh, got my lab assistant Larry out here and we're running some tests with the reactor getting some pretty good results this uh, reactor is running the uh, the plasma uh, balls and the uh, coils behind it as well okay that lights up real good off this one man You can see this uh, spark gap over here pulsing. Wow. And that's why it keeps blinking off and on because this thing gets really super hot. Yeah. And uh, those are like thermal switches that actually uh, shut the power off. Now, when I change that over to a normal, just a normal spark gap, it will not shut the power off. It'll make it even stronger than before. 
And so with that said, that's why I have the uh, spectrum tubes up at the top with the crystal in the center so that uh, when that crystal hits uh, too high of a frequency, it will literally vibrate that crystal, shattering that crystal, busting the spectrum tubes, breaking the circuit. Put some more argon in there. <clears throat> Keep in mind, folks, uh, we still got a leak. Wow, I can't, I'm getting an arc to this light. What do you think what, about what you're seeing so far, Larry? You think this thing's got some power? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can actually stick your hand in about three feet away from it and feel the field going through your hand. Yeah. And back here you can feel the field going through your hand. All right, let me uh, yeah, high voltage tester on there again. How bright that sucker is. Look at that, man. <laughs> This uh, high voltage tester is a direct to the ground itself, and so. Is that an ink pen? Where? Your high voltage tester. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a uh, camera flash in there. Oh. Wow. Works it works real well. <clears throat> you notice when the argon leaks down? Oh, holy crap! Hey. That's just sitting on the table, and that shocked the crud out of me. <laughs> There's nothing, it's not attached to anything? No, it ain't testing nothing. Well, check this out. Uh, when I touch the end, I get one heck of an arc to this thing. Man. And it's lighting up real well. Uh, let me hit it with some more argon. I've been putting very small amounts of argon in here. That's yeah, not wasted. Well, and I'm going to put just a hair more of this go around. That ought to be enough. Oh, look at that puppy go, man. I'm going to add some more argon. Jacking with the camera again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to shut this down. Okay. Smells getting thick in here too. Huh. Well, well it folks, smells like hot plastic. What do you think, Larry? Oh. I think you better not fall down. Huh. So we got to get the we got to get this sealed up here because it's leaking uh, leaking argon. So essentially, what you saw was a dry run of the plasma reactor without uh, being in a vacuum and. Uh, all the other stuff behind that was running off of the uh, one power supply coming out of the uh, reactor itself. And so with that said, you shocked the crap out of yourself over there, didn't you? Yeah, by <laughs> accident. There was a, di a metal disc down there I didn't see. <laughs> welcome to the lab. <laughs> uh, I've been welcomed before. <laughs> yeah, I took a hit right over here. There was a uh, little uh, motor sitting down around there just sitting on the uh, wooden bench and that thing uh, lit me up too when I was on it, it was and uh, the temperature on the uh, spark gap right here got pretty doggone hot. How hot do you think that thing was? It was hot. And right off the bat I'd say it was hot enough to burn you. Yeah, it was It was warm. Anyway folks, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to give you keep you updated on the uh, plasma reactor and uh, we're hopefully going to get this uh, this doggone thing sealed up so we can get the vacuum in it and, uh, and get some uh, heavier duty or wires for certain parts portions of it because uh, we're getting a little bit of heat on some of these wires and I've been going to thicker cables such as this right here just for the reactor itself but uh, I still keep this tiny ground right here this is the one that goes out to the uh, 
ground rod outside so that uh, it won't uh, get too too many electrons flowing through there because uh, the whole concept of this is uh, through there because uh, the whole concept of this is uh, the positive charge that's being created in here dragging the negative electrons up is the equivalence of you plugging a rod into the ground and then uh, putting a spool of wire on a rocket and shooting it up to the clouds. When the clouds are positively charged and the earth is negatively charged, when it gets high enough up here, then it literally ionizes the air in between there and allows the uh, lightning to strike up like that. So when you use the uh, rocket and you stick the uh, ground rod in the ground and then shoot the fine wire up there, then the uh, wire literally shortens the gap and creates lightning and so essentially what this is doing is shortening the gap this is the positive charge to drag the negative electrons out of the earth and basically create lightning and contain it inside the reactor itself and so that's why it's so important for us to get the vacuum portion of this down because this argon leak right here hey if we get too close to that with that argon leaking out argon electricity can follow that argon right out and you'll take a lightning bolt to the face which is not cool so uh, anyway uh, peace and love everybody take care stay tuned <laughs>